Here I am in Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. I started my four-month internship in the capital Kampala and traveled west to Masaka. As a recipient of the Irving K. Barber International Education Travel Subsidy, I was given the opportunity to conduct my graduate research in southwestern Uganda. I was greeted by Dan and his family. Dan, as my country host, is also a director of Fair Trade Carbon Limited, a Canadian Ugandan business who also financially sponsored my research. Dan wears many hats. He is a father of three, a university student, a community librarian seen here moving the library into its brand new building, and the Ugandan representative of the UBC Go Global program. Dan's Canadian counterpart is Lee Fox, also a director of Fair Trade Carbon and a fellow graduate student at UBC Vancouver. Fair Trade Carbon offers Ugandan secondary and university students a means of earning an income to pay for school fees by planting trees. In turn, Fair Trade Carbon provides carbon offsetting services to Canadian companies that are required to meet their annual allowable greenhouse gas emissions. My research was in a watershed 18 kilometers from the town of Ibanda in the fertile region of western Uganda. My data collection in the field will be part of a computer model to develop a management tool for fair trade carbon. I plan to model the future effects of pine plantations on stream flow in a watershed. This will assist fair trade carbon with understanding how their forestry programs may affect the water supply in a watershed. My research wasn't possible without the support of so many local people. First is my driver, Peter. He took me to work and on vacation and remember to have fun. My personal favorite was Godfrey, my technician, good friend, and he's working hard to earn money to attend university for medicine. Jolly, a resident in the watershed who met us for lunch almost every day and helped me learn some of the local language. Caledonia, her home and property was my favorite place in the watershed. The view from her house, her goats, and drinking soda in her living room. And for the people who made my stay in Ibanda comfortable and like a second home, there's Rose, Anna, and Loy. Before I went, I was dreaming of what I thought would be the most memorable experiences. I thought it would be the wildlife in your backyard and the diverse landscape so different from Canada. But for me, it was the people of Uganda that opened their doors and shared their stories that made this experience truly incredible. Well, as goodbye to Uganda for now, but I know I will return one day.